I am with Nick Drosos this morning. He's a self-defense as well as strength training expert. And we're talking about public safety, how to stay safe in public environments. So Nick Drosos, you've been doing this for quite some time. First of all, talk to us about what you do. Uh, well, I have my, I teach on YouTube. I have about uh, over 300,000 followers right now. I'm traveling, doing seminars. I was in New York, Athens, and Vienna. Yes. I'm going to be back in uh, September, uh, back to uh, New York for another seminar. Nice. And so now you're here. I'm in your studio. What are we going to be doing today? What are we going to be trying out? We're going to be looking at public safety. Talk about awareness, knife defense, multiple attackers. What are you looking at? What are you looking for when you're faced with a possible attack. Do so. you think? Do you think a lot of people uh, this could happen, or because a lot of people are like, "That's never going to happen to me. I'm never going to get attacked on the subway. Nobody's ever going to do this to me in the office." Could it happen? Is it good to know? You know, you just look at the news. It's happening more and more, and random attacks. And I always tell people before you look at how to hit, what to hit with, what can you do in your everyday life to not be put in that position in that situation. Well, those are great tips, Nick, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be trying it out. I will be doing it for you guys to be learning some tips at home on how to stay safe with some self-defense moves. Nick Drosos, right here, guys. This is what's going to happen. I'm going to my car, and this is exactly how I go to my car, Nick, okay. on so a regular basis. First thing, you're going to give me the phone. <laughs> Okay. That you're in code red. You're I walking know. to your car, your earphones are off, you get off the phone, you're aware of your space, any sound you hear, you turn around and you look at it, where okay. it's coming from, okay? So put those phones away. Put it away. Perfect. I see this guy next to my car. Yes. Hey, I know you. Aren't you from BT Television? Whoa. Oh my gosh. What? You don't want Hi. Yeah, yeah. Hi. It's okay. It's okay. okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Perfect. So the first thing you did is you yeah. brought up your hands. Okay. Right? You want to bring up your hands. You want to create some distance between you and your attacker. The okay. second thing you're looking at, his hands. Does he have a weapon? Yeah. What am I holding? You're holding I your keys. keys, right? So how can the keys be used? You could strike him right in the face. If you decide to go preemptive, Yeah. okay? If you see him going to reach for something, if he's angling off, if he's grabbed you, if he's circling you, at some point, he's a big guy. You have to hit him first. So okay. you could always strike open hand into the throat. Okay and to the face to the face open hand go with the keys go with the keys hammer whatever you hit don't get technical. throw my bag there's everything it, whatever you can Let it go. you just start striking into the face as quickly as possible and keep it as simple as possible okay? but what if he was just i do that and he was just an overzealous person like Look, he just wanted to talk to me safety first if he if your intuition told you something's up yeah you just bring up your hands okay Doesn't really matter you so know? we're going to demonstrate that with the head yeah so about you, me striking if you were to strike okay. okay so nick hold this right here so let's say at some point you wanted to go preemptive yes right you would hit open hand and you would just start okay. going into the face okay so let me see you just strike that's it oh, beautiful those like, keys ah, ah, you, that's it ah. Oh my gosh, I made a hole in the head with the keys. <laughs> okay, so you know it's effective, <laughs> okay, right? Yes. So again, it's about keeping it simple, using gross motor skills, and but use your at it. use your beautiful nails and go right into the face yeah. and as quickly as possible, neck crank the head. Oh boy, okay. I don't know if I would be able to do that, would, but I would go in on him. Go in. The instinct's gonna kick in and you'll be just... You guys, <laughs> these are great tips, but we got so much more coming up. You're gonna wanna stay tuned because next we're doing also knife attack and what happens when two people attack you. Stay tuned, guys. We're talking self-defense this morning. I'm joined by Nick Drosos. Not a scenario that you want to be in, but we're doing this for the safety of you at home. I'm at the ATM, Nick. I've taken out money and I see somebody approaching me. What do I do? Okay, Nick. Give me your money. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, you break right there. First thing you do, you give him the money. I give him the money. You give him the money. You're okay. in close quarter range, knife is through your throat. Yeah. You flinch, you move, you don't know what his mindset is in, you do anything wrong. I, you know, I, teaching you anything fancy right now, yeah. this range can get you killed. So okay. the first thing you start doing is start talking. Okay, no, no fine, problem. Here, no just problem. Go ahead, here. take it, here. Take it's, it, it's take all it. Yours. It's, yours. it's yours, it's yours, it's yours, it's yours, it's yours, it's yours. Exactly, okay. you know, you're, again, you're here, he wants the money, give him the money. Okay, now, it's easier. Yes, Okay. again, knife in close quarter range yeah. is a very dangerous weapon, Yeah. okay? So anything happens- Don't try to fight it off, don't try to be the hero. No, right now your yeah. life is not in danger as long as you give him that, that's what he wants. Okay. Now, second scenario, yes. you gave him the money, Okay. now he grabs you 
and he says, get in the car. Oh boy. Okay, so let's okay. say- So he has my money. Let's say he has the money and he's okay. grabbed you like this okay. and he's what here. what do I do? Okay, first thing is now, oh. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing, Nick. That That's was what awesome. I'm doing, okay? I'm not even wasting time. Okay, the first thing, okay, again, when it comes to the money, you give him the money. Yeah, he has my money. Now, if he tells you to get in the car, you no. have... From my the, instinct from, is to do this. From this point to the point you get in the car, you have to make a move. The instant okay. you get in the car, you diminish your chances, okay? What you did was great. What you want to do is you want to trap the knife, you want to clear your body yeah. from it, you want to pin it, and from there, you have to start striking as quickly as possible. Like that. You, Just move him as fast well, as possible away from me. What you want to do, and again, survival is going to kick in. When you grab, you have to start striking yes. right away. Yeah. Okay? So it's not an easy situation it's not to easy. be in. But I mean, you're a professional. Yes. You know what you're doing. Yes. Most of us at home don't, but my instinct, honestly, was to grab the knife, push it away from me, and push him. And if, I, if, I keep doing that. If you can do that and run, you run. If you have anything in your hands, throw it in his face. Again, if you can get away with giving him your stuff, that's what you do. That's what but you do But if you gotta first. get in the car, you gotta make that decision. That second location, not good. So try to get away right on the first move as soon as possible. Nick Joseph is giving us some amazing tips here. There's a lot more, a lot more coming up. <laughs> My gosh. Hopefully this never happens to me. Thank you, Nick. <laughs> Nick Drosos is giving us some amazing advice this morning. We're talking about self-defense training. And of course, you're talking about being aware. We're talking about, you know, thinking about everything, your surroundings. But sometimes you're in a scenario, and we've seen this a lot on the news lately, where you're in a group of people and somebody comes in that's up to no good. What do you do? Well, the first thing you should do is develop the habit that when you walk into a public place, take a few seconds, locate your exits, mm -hmm. scan the room know your surroundings is there anything odd you know it's 30 degrees the guy walks in the bus with a trench coat you should be able to pick that up and you know start listening to your instinct and have an escape plan if something were to happen and with everything that's going on around us now pokemon go this that music in our ears we're not aware of our surroundings we need to we need to do better and that's what attackers are looking for right? exactly the ones who are most vulnerable are the ones who are unaware of the their of, surroundings. Of their surroundings. Well, Nick, you have it right here. One scenario you definitely want to be in is if you're faced with two attackers. Yes. So let's okay. say Elio's over here talking to you. Okay. Hi. Hey, what's up? Good. You good? Let's bring your hands natural you? position. I know nice. you. Oh, okay. okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. And, and Nick whoa. tries to get around. Okay. okay so yeah. you definitely don't want to be in this situation. If Why they, not? If they, if they both decided to charge you right now, I'm done. You're done. Yeah. Also, did you see Nick's hand? He might have had uh, a knife. I didn't even over see there. that. Okay. okay. So first thing again, you're looking at the hands. Does he have? Does he have a weapon? It's the first thing you should always ask yourself when you're faced with anybody. Yeah, because now he hits me, he hits me, I'm done. That's it. So what you would want to do is that you if I'm faced with Elio yeah. here and Nick comes around, oh. I'll do this. Oh, you're following him, them. Where I use him as a pivot to make sure to keep one in front of the other. And okay. at some point, again, you have to go preemptive. At this point, I have to strike. You have to strike first. No again, you listen to your intuition. If you, know, if you see somebody, if, if you think he's got a weapon, you can strike and run. It's not an easy situation, no. but you know, it's... You know, well, it's you, definitely not a situation people want to be in, but you're giving us some great advice. If you are faced with two attackers, make sure that nobody has access to your back. Make sure that they're both in front of you if you can, but hopefully nobody has to go through this. Nick Drosos, amazing work today. Thank you. Great advice. And you can get his stuff on nickdrosos.com. Thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you very much.